Hey, good morning, friends. My name is Sudham Shupande, and welcome to the QMath Master Class for Mathematical Tricks. I'm a QMath teacher, and this class is for all those students who want to learn the mathematical tricks to just solve the questions, some of the questions quickly. And this class is also for those teachers who wanted to impart the knowledge to their students. So I will be covering this topic into the five stages. Uh, the first stage uh, consists of finding a square. The second stage consists of finding the square root of a number. The third stage we will be doing how to find the cube root of a number. In the fourth stage you will learn some quick tips for the simplification. In the last stage and in the last stage you will find you will be finding the rational number for a recurring decimal. And you might be thinking what is a recurring decimal and how to find the rational number of that number that is of real number topic of grade 9 and 10. So we will be learning this topic soon. This is the last part of the topic and please don't miss that. This is a very important topic. So moving on. So the first topic is so finding square quickly. How to find the square of a number so quickly. So the prerequisite for the trick is you have to remember the squares up to 30 and the multiplication tables up to 20. When I say the squares up to 30, you must be in a position if I ask you what is the square of 12. You must tell me, sir, it is 144. Okay, so I will be just covering up all the squares. So up to 10, everybody knows. The squares up to 10 is 1. Then we have 2 square is 4. 3 square is 9. 4 square is 16. 5 square is 25. 6 square is 36. 7 square is 49. 8 square is 64. 9 square is 81. 10 square is 100. So I will be covering the squares from 11. So 11 square is, we all know that it is 121. 12 square is 144. You just keep on seeing that there is a pattern of adding the two consecutive numbers you add just 12 plus 11 is 23 you add 23 to the 21 and you will get 140. now what is 13 square 13 square is 169 how you will reach 169 we just need to add 13 plus 12 that is 25 you add this 25 to this 144 and you will get 169 same goes with the 14 as well now 14 square is 196 these two digits are just interchanged this is a small trick that you should remember they are both related to each other Mathematics, you just apply your mind how to relate one number with the other number so that you can remember it. Now, 15 square uh, can be remembered separately under the section of uh, remembering the square ending with 5, which is 225. Then we have 16 square. The first time the square has entered into the 250 region, so it is 256. So, 256 means uh, you just add 16 plus 15, which is 31 to 8. Okay, the two consecutive numbers you just add. The sum of these two consecutive numbers to the previous square and you will get the next square now there is a trick now there is a trick for remembering the 17 18 and 19 square okay so the number ending with 7 the square of that number is ending with 9 and you have to multiply 7 into 4 so 7 into 4 is 28 so the square is 289 same goes with the 18 as well the number ending with 8 has a square ending with 4 and when you multiply 8 into 4 you have got 3 to 32 that is 324 same goes with the 19 square as well the number ending with 9 has a square ending with 1 and when you have multiplied 9 into 4 you will get 36 so this is how i remember the square of 17 18 and 19 then moving on to the next square which is 20 square 20 square as we all know that 20 square is 400 and then we have 30 square which is also 900 so the square of the numbers between 20 and 30 you will find there is something common the square of the numbers ending between 20 and 30 has got the last two digits are same for most of the numbers so i will just writing these numbers like this and you should also write these numbers like this so that you can remember it very easily then we have 24 square then here we have 26 square, then we have 25 square. So, it is very easy to remember the square of a number ending with 0. 20 square is 400, 30 square is 900, and then 25 square is 625. You have to multiply this 2 by 3, the next consecutive number, which is 6, and then you just add 25 to the end, so it is 625. That means, the square of the number from 20 to 24 will lie less than 600. And the square of the number from 26 to 30 are between 600 to 800. Okay. So the square of 21 is 
it is the first number is 441 and same goes with the 9 here you will write just 41 and since this is just less than 900 so it is 841 now moving on to the second part 22 square now it is 484 so you see the last two digit the last two digit for 28 square is also 84 and this is less than 800 that means this is 784 now you just see the relationship now the next number the square ending with 23 square is 29 so this 2 square so this is 529 and again this is less than 700 so it is also 729 you see the last two digit is 29 on both the sides then we come to the 24 square which is 76 here also you write 76 so this is 576 this is 676 so the square goes like this 400 441 484 529 576 625 and then you have 676 729 784 then 841 and 900 so since you have learned the squares up to 30 now again when i ask you to learn the tables up to multiplication tables up to 20 it is like that uh, i just make some of the uh, groups uh, like this there's groups which are more than 100 uh, so it is 13 into 9 is 117 then we have got 18 into 6 which is 108 then we have got 14 into 8 which is equal to 112 then again we have got 16 into 7 again which is also 112 so this is how i just make the groups in the increasing order then 17 into 7 is 119 again there is one group where 14 into 9 is also 126 and we find that 18 into 7 is also 126 and you just add 10 to 8 and you will get just reverse the number of 18 and 7 this 17 into 8 is 136 okay again you you try to find out some patterns uh, so you see 19 into 7 is 133 and you if you just reverse the digit so 17 into 9 it is 153 so the difference between 9 and 7 is 2 and the difference between these two digits is also 20. again you just see that 19 into 8 is 152 and you just reverse the digit it will become 18 into 9 which is 162 you see the difference between 9 and 8 is 1 and these two digits the difference is 10. so this is how you should remember the multiplication tables just paying some attention 18 into 8 is 144 16 into 9 is also 144 then you have got 12 into 12 is also 144 then there are numbers ending with 8 so 19 into 4 is 76 then you have got 17 into 4 is 68 so this is how you should learn the tables up to 20 you should be as smart as i am here when i ask you a question you just you should be in a position to tell me in just three seconds two three seconds you should be that much confident enough it's not like that when i ask you 30 into 9 you should be telling me sir 117 no don't ask questions the questions are to be answered the questions are not to be questioned again okay you should be confident enough to learn the multiplication tables up to 20. so now moving on since you have completed this prerequisites you have learned the squares up to 30 and you have learned the multiplication tables up to 20 moving on so this is for your uh, practice again you can just see the square i've written the number and the square from 1 to 10 then from 11 to 20 again from 21 to 30 i made you remember how how the trick works and you can, you can just remember it you can just go through it and rehearse now uh, now we will applying some tricks so now, now let us first revise the first identity of the algebra the first identity of the algebra is a plus b whole square which is a square plus 2ab plus b square everybody knows that so now let us take any random two digit number suppose we are taking 38 square so we will just divide this 38 into two parts that is a and b so first we will do the b square you can see that i am just doing the b square so focusing on 8 square is 64 now what we will do is since the last digit of the number is 8 so it will be ending with 4 only so you will find that 4 automatically goes there and 6 which is being the second number is being carried over now the second thing that we do the th second step we just find the square into three steps the first step is to find the b square the second step is to find 2ab that means these two numbers are to be multiplied and doubled so 2 into 3 is 6 into 8 is 48 and you should add the carried over here so carried over here is 6 so the number becomes 54 now 
this 54 4 will be written here next to that 4 previous 4 and 5 will be carried over now the last part last part of this finding the square so you will just need to find the a square which is 3 3 square is 9 and then you will add this 5 to it and you will get 14 and this 14 whole will be written like this so we'll get 1 triple 4 so I, I think that you should have remembered this now we will just check one more number I am just writing a random number uh, writing okay 77 square so this 7 square first we will write 49 then we will carry it over 4 then we will multiply 2 into 7 into 7 so 2 into 7 is 14 into 7 is 98 and when I add this 4 to it I have got 102 so I will write 10 to it and then again I will do the square of this number 7 7 49 and then when we add 10 to it I will get 59 so we can just check also 77 into 77 it is 5929 this is correct again uh, let us check one more number suppose I am uh, I want to find the square of 96 so first I will do the square of this 6 6 square is 36 I will write 6 and 3 will be carried over then I will multiply 2 into 9 into 6 so 2 into 9 is 18 18 into 6 is 108 and 108 when 3 is being added over so we will get 111 so I will write 1 and 11 will be carried over now we will do the square of 9 so 9 square is 81 and when 81 is being added with 11 we will get 92 this 11 will be added so we will have 9216 now we can check the square of now we can check the square of 96 96 into 96 again it is 9216 this is correct again uh, let us take some more random numbers I am just going to find the square of 57 so 57 means the two numbers are 5 and 7 so first we will do the square of 7 which is 49 we will write 9 and we will add 4 to it then we will multiply these two numbers 5 into 7 is 35 and we will just double it so 2 into 5 10 into 7 is 70 and then when 70 is being added with 4 we will add 74 and then 7 will be carried over then we will do the square of this 5 which is 25 and then 25 plus 7 which was carried over it become 32 so the answer is 3 to 4 right it hardly takes some seconds if you want to check it you can check it as well so we have 57 into 57 the answer is 3 to 4 9. if you want to take one more number let us take one more number let us take the square of uh, okay uh, suppose we take the square of 92 92 means 2 into 2 is 4 so nothing is carried over now 2 multiplied by 9 multiplied by 2 so it is 36 we will write 6 and we will just carry 3 then 9 into 9 is 81 and then when 3 is added to 81 we will get 84 so the answer is 8464 see it hardly takes 2 3 seconds and 8464 is the right answer so this is how you calculate the square of a number 2 digit number now moving on to finding the square of a three digit number you might be thinking how to find the square of a three digit number so tricks has also got some limitations it is not infinite series of a number you just uh, learn every trick so there are different tricks for different numbers so for two digit number that that was a trick you should be able to uh, memorize uh, memorize the 20 multiplication tables up to 20 and the squares up to 30 so it will help you out to calculate fast now see for three digit number again we will divide those three digit number into two parts okay for three digit number we will divide this number into two parts the first part consists of the one single digit and the second part is consists of the two digits so two digit will be considered as one single number so first we will do b square that is 8 square which is 64 and then we will write 64 as 4 will be written on the right hand side and 6 will be carried over then we will do 2ab you can see the second part of the question 2ab 2 multiplied by 15 you multiply by 8 which is 3 for 240 and then 6 will be added to 240 to make it 246 and then 6 will be written on the next to the uh, 4 and then 24 will be carried over then you have to do the last part of the question which is a square that is 15 square which is 225 i already told you to remember the squares up to 30 and then we will you will add 24 to 8 you will get 249 and the whole number will be written like this so 158 square is 24964 so let us practice some of the numbers like this so i'm just writing a number 276 
square. So we will divide this part into two parts, 6 square and 27. So 6 square is what? 6 square is 36. We will write 3 here. Now the second part is 2 into 27 into 6. So it is easy to multiply 6 into 2 is which is 12. So we will multiply 27 into 12. 12 7 is 84. 12 to the 24. 24 plus 8 is 32. So we have got 324. So we will be writing 324 plus 3 which was carried over. So it is 327. So I will write just 7 and 32 will be carried over. Then 27 square is 729 and we will add 32 to 8. 9 plus 2 is 11, 2, 3, 5, 1, 6, 761. So it is 76176. We can just check it out. 276 into 276 and the answer is 76176. This is the correct answer. Okay. So let us take one more number, uh, just random I am taking any other number, so let us take uh, 200 and, let us take 292, so 2 square is 4, so now 2 multiplied by 29 multiplied by 2, so 229 that is 58 and when this is multiplied by 2 you have got 116, so you will write 6 and then you will carry it over 11, then 29 square is 841, I already told you to remember the squares up to 30. So when you will add 11 to it, you will have 852. So it is 852. It hardly takes 10 seconds. If your calculation is fast, you can check this out. So 292 multiplied by 292. This is 85264. This is the correct answer. Okay, I hope that you now not be having any doubt. So now trick to find the square root of a four digit number. So now we will be uh, knowing the trick to find the square root of a four digit number. So how the trick works? So first you should uh, understand some patterns. Let us now first revisit the unit digit of the square of the number ending with all the digits. So how many digits are there in mathematics? There are 10 digits from 0 to 9. They are digits. Okay, as we have 26 alphabets in English, which makes the words the same. There are 10 digits. Out of 10 digits, the number ending with 1 and the number ending with 9 as the square ending with 1. You see the unit digit is 1. The number ending with 2 and the number ending with 8 has always the square ending with 4. The number ending with 3 and the number ending with 7 has also has the square ending with 9. The number ending with 4 and the number ending with 6 has the square ending with 6 always. And the number ending with 5 and the number ending with 0 has the number ending with the square of the number is ending with 5 and 0. So basically, if I tell you the square of a number is. So this means the square of a number is always ending with 0, either 0 or you have 1 or you have 4 or you have 6 or you have 9 or you have 5. These are the only. Uh, the numbers that ends and you can say okay this kind of number can be as it is not sure but they can be square but the numbers if they are ending with 2 if they are ending with 3 if they are ending with 7 or if they are ending with 8 they are never a square of a number because when you multiply 1 by 1 you get 1 when you multiply 9 by 9 you get the unit digit as 181 for 4 you will have 2 and 8 for 6 you will have 4 and 6 means 4 square is also ending with 16, 6 square is also ending with 36. So 3 square is also ending with 9 and 7 square is also ending with 949. So 5 square ends with 5. So this is how we find. Now let us revisit the squares of the number ending with 5. So 5 square is 25. Now you have to see one pattern. <clears throat> this is simple pattern 15 so 1 will be multiplied by the next consecutive number that is 2 and you will get 225 2 is multiplied by the next consecutive number that is 3 and you will get 625 3 is multiplied by the next number that is 4 and 3 into 4 is 12 and just add 25 to it 4 is multiplied by the next consecutive number 5 which is 20 and just add 25 to it 5 multiplied by the next consecutive number 6 you have 30 25 6 multiplied by 7, you will get 42 and 42, 25. So the square of a number ending with 5 is, is very easy to calculate. So if somebody asks you what is 45 square, so you have to multiply 4 by 5 to get 20 and then add 25 to it. If somebody asks you what is 85 square, so 8 is multiplied by 9 
to get 72 and just add 25 to it. So this is a very easy trick to understand the square of a number ending with 5. You just need to multiply the previous number by the next consecutive number. I hope this is clear to you. So now let us find the square root quickly uh, of the number uh, ending with 0. Let us now revisit the square of numbers ending with 0. So you just try to find out the pattern. If the square has 1, 0, the square is 100. The square of 20 is 400. The square of 30 is 900. You just see because of 1, 0, you are having 2 zeros here. Because of 40, it is 1600. So this 16 is because of this 4. Now 50. So the 0 is because of these two zeros and 5 is making this 25 to happen. So now the largest two digit number is 99. So 99 square is a four digit number. So the first two digit is because of this 9 and the next two digit is because of this 9. You can see here. So 90 square, the last two digit is because of this 0 and 81 is because of this 9. So you, you must remember this. Now coming back to the 100 square, you will have four zeros and the number is a five digit number. Now just moving on, so you will see that 11 square is 121 and you just add two zeros. So two zeros is because of this first place. The first two zero of a square is just because of the zero of that single number. So that goes till 999, you just see the 19 square is 361 and you will add just two zeros to it and then the largest three digit number is 999 whose square is 998001. You will see that the last two digit that is 01 is because of this 9 which was also in 99 and the rest of the number that is a four digit number 9980 is just because of this 299. Okay, so I think this is clear to you. You, you, you should Understand this concept that the last two digit of any square is just because of the unit digit of the number. It is not concerned about the tens place and the hundred place. The last two digit of the number, that is the ones and tens place of a square of a number, is because of the number, the unit digit of the number. This is what I am going to tell you. I was trying to tell you. So moving on, let us uh, try to find the square root quickly. Let us now try to find out the square root of 6084. So 6084 is found by adding 6000 to 84. And that means it is a square root uh, that lie between 70 square and 80 square. Now since the last digit is 4, that means either it will be the square of a number ending with 2 or it will, it will be a square of number ending with 8. Okay. Now looking at this 60, 60 lies between you will just see that 60 lies between 7 square and 8 square. So because 7 square is 49, 64, 8 square is 64, so 60 lies between them. So now we will just try to find out the square of, so the numbers lie between the square of the numbers, uh, the square root of this number lies between 70 and 80. Now quickly we will jump on to the 75, 75 square is 7 into 8 is 56, 25. So now you will find that 56, 25 is less than 6084. That means the square root of the 6084 is greater than 75. Okay, because it is less than 6084. So since it is greater than 75, that means the number ending, now the number ending with 4 as a square in the unit digit lies between 79 and 80 is 78. Because the number ending with 8 has a square ending with 4. Since okay. we have 6084, that means this is 8 and this is 7. So therefore, square root of 6084 is 78. Uh, to find some of the square roots of a number, so first I am just trying to find out the square of a number. So I am taking some random number. So the number is 7921. So you should remember that uh, you should first divide this part into two different parts, that is 21 and 79. And by looking at this one, you can know that the square will be either ending with 1, the number is ending with 1 or it is ending with 9. Now coming to the second part of the number that is 79, so it lies between the square of uh, 8 that is 64 and the square of 9 which is 80, 81. So either this will be the square of 81 or this will be the square of 89. So before that we have to check whether what is 85 square. So 85 square is 8 into 9 is 72, 8 into multiplied by the next digit that is 72 and then you just add 25 to it. 
So 7 to 2, 5 and we have 7, 9, 2, 1 which is greater than 7 to 2, 5 that means the square root is 89. Again I will be checking one more number. So I am taking one more number. So the number is 23304 and we will just to find the square root of 2304 that is we are going to find this. So with the help of 04 that is the 4 we can find that either it is a square of a number ending with 2 or it is a square of number ending with 8. Now moving on to the second part that is 24, 23 it lies between the square of 4 that is 16 and the square of 5 which is 25. So it lies between 23 and 25. So either it is a 42 square or it is a 48 square. So we will just try to find out what is either it is a 42 or 48. So we will try to find out what is 45 square. So 45 square is 4 multiplied by 5 which is 20, 20, 25. Now you will see that 2304 is, is greater than 2025. That means the number is greater than 45. So the answer is 48. <clears throat> so the square root of 2304 is 48. You can also practice some of the numbers. I will be giving you some numbers. Uh, let me give you some numbers. So the first number is. So you can also practice some of the numbers. I am giving you some numbers. So it is 9 to 1, 6. You try to find out the square root of 9 to 1, 6 using the same method. And then again, I will be writing some more numbers. So the next number is try to find out the square of 3, 4, 8, 1 with the same method. Just need to split the into two parts 16 and 92 with the help of 16 you can find out that it is ending with 4 and 6 and then 92 you can just find out the square so you can practice you can just multiply two numbers find the square and then try to find out the square root so you can practice this now moving on to the next part of this segment that is finding the cube root i already told you so the prerequisites to learn uh, to find the cube root of a number quickly is to first find the cubes learn the cubes up to 10 and the same multiplication tables up to 20. Now <clears throat> just have a pattern look at the pattern. So the cube of 1 is 1 and it is the unit digit of the number is also 1. The cube of 2 is 8 and the unit digit of the number is also 8. The cube of 3 is 27 and the number is ending with 7. The cube of 4 is 64 the number is ending with 4. The cube of 5 is 125 up to here everybody knows. 5 into 5 into 5 which is 125 so the number is ending with 5 so now 6 into 6 into 6 this is 216 so the last digit is 6 7 when multiplied by 7 so we we can learn just 7 cube like this so 3 plus 4 is also 7 and 4 plus 3 is also 7 so it is 343 the number is ending with 3 you should know the last digit as well the square of the cube of 8 is 512. You can just remember it's like this. The number should end with 2 and since uh, it lies between 5 and 12. So 5 plus 1 is 6. 6 plus 2 is 8. So you can remember anyway, any anything that you can make of your own. So 9 cube is 729. 9 into 8 is 72. So it is being multiplied by 9. 9 cube means 9 into 9 is 81 and then you multiply this by 9. So get 729. And the last digit of the number is 9 and 10 cube is 1000, the last digit is 0. So this is all you should remember. So you will find that the cube of the number ending with 1 ends with 1. The cube of the number ending with 2 ends with 8. The cube of the number ending with 3 ends with 7. The cube of the number ending with 4 ends with 4. The cube of the number ending with 5 ends with 5. The cube of the number ending with 6 ends with 6. The cube of the number ending with 7 ends with 3. The cube of the number ending with 8 ends with 2. And the cube of the number ending with 9 is 9. The cube of the number ending with 0 is 0. So 1 for 1, 9 for 9, then 2 for 8, and then you have 8 for 2. Just the reversal process. 3 is for 7 and then 7 is for 3. 4 is for 4 same, 5 is for 5 same and 6 is for 6. 0 is for 0. So you have some numbers 1, 4, 5, 6, 9, 0. These are the numbers whose cube ends with the same numbers. 
and these are the interchangeable number 2 and 8 2 ends with 8 and 8 ends with 2 3 ends with 7 and 7 ends with 3 these are the four numbers that you can remember so you have all the digits you see you have got 1 you have got 2 you have got 3 you have got 4 5 6 7 8 9 0 so none of the none of the number are two two numbers two digits of the numbers are having the same ending number that was the case in the square the number ending with 2 and 8 ends with 4 but not in the cube anymore in the cube every number is unique every cube is unique so you have all the digits so how to you just learn okay the last digit is this so it is a cube of this particular number okay so this is a trick that we will use now see now, now see how it works now we will look at the cubes of the numbers ending with 0 so 10 cube is 1000 20 cube is just focus on these three zeros 30 cube is 3 into 3 is 27 and then 0 is 0 the 0 is for three zeros and 4 cube is 64 then 0 is for three zeros and 5 cube is 125 and similarly when you find what is 99 cube so 299 is just because of this 9 and this 970 is because of this 9 so 100 cube is you will have 6 zeros so out of 6 zeros these 3 the last 3 zeros is just because of this 0 ok so you will just find that the first digit of any number just takes the 3 places of the cube 3 places of the cube ok So now let us try to find out the cube root of a six digit number that is 192 uh, 941192. So we will divide this number into two parts that is 941 and 192 and because of this two we will come to know that the last digit of the number is 8 because the number ending with 8 has a cube ending with 2 that we learnt already. Now we will just uh, now looking at 192 we can guess that the unit digit of the cube root is 8 because 8 cube is 512. Now, uh, looking at 941, the other part of the segment, we can guess that the tenth digit of the cube root is 9 because 9 cube is greater than, is less than 941. So, 941 basically lies between who, which of the two consecutive cubes. So, it lies between 9 cube and 10 cube. So That means the initial number is 9. So, it is less than 10. So, you are just progressing from 9. So, what is 9 cube? 9 into 9 is 7 to 9. 9 into 9 into 9 is 7 to 9 and then you will have triple zeros and the number here will, we will have 941192 so that means it is increasing and it is less than 10 cubes so that means the number is going to be 98 because the last digit is a and this digit is 2 understood I hope uh, this is clear to you so therefore the cube root of 941 lies between 90 and 100 cube and thus the cube of the number ending with 2 has the unit digit as 8 hence the cube root is 98 now let us practice uh, some more cubes so I'm just finding uh, the cube of a number and uh, I'm writing it here to for your practice so 636056 so uh, first of all let me uh, make you understand that the number should be perfect cube if somebody is playing the trick that it is not a perfect cube and they are asking you the cube root this trick won't work because you don't know whether this is a cube or not you just try to find out the cube root with the help of the trick so if that is a perfect cube then only you can find the cube root if it is not a perfect uh, cube you cannot find if you ever find also you have to multiply again and again to find that whether it is a particular cube or not so that cannot be done because you cannot multiply a two digit number by a two digit number and remember the trick and again you can multiply the whole number with the two digit number so that is not possible so what is possible is if that is a perfect cube you can just find out okay this is a perfect cube of this so six digit number is a perfect cube of two digit number first of all you should understand this concept now the last three digit is because of six because six into six into six is six now coming to the 636 so 636 lies between which of the two cubes I told you to remember the cubes from 1 to 10 so the cube of 7 is at 343 then cube of 8 is 512 uh, so it is 512 and then cube of uh, 9 is 729 
So that means because of this is just less than 512, so this is 86. So the, it is the correct answer. You can just check it. Again, I am uh, writing one more number. So the number is. So the next number is 474552. So because you will take this first three digit number and because of this two, the last digit must be 8. Because 8 into 8 into 8 is 512, the last digit is 2. Now looking at this 474, so 474 lies between 343, that is 7 cube and 512. So it is just more than 7, so it, the number is 78. You can just find out 78 cube, which will come out to be 474552. You can check this here as well. So 78 into 78 into 78. This is 474552. So this is correct. Okay, now we will be uh, learning some of the simplification process. Uh, this is a simple trick. Uh, most of the people, you might be aware of this, but if you are not aware of this, you can just use it. Suppose we have been given a number like, uh, we can multiply 128 into 32 into uh, 25 into 50 into 625, something like that or 49, this is being given. So how to find out the solution to this question? So you just don't need to multiply each and every number. You can just take the law of exponent help. So first, what is 5 into 2? 5 into 2 is 10. So if I ask you what is 5 square into 2 square, so that will be 10 square. If I ask you what is 5 cube into 2 cube, so that is 10 cube. Now a number uh, when it comes to 10, it is very simple multiplication. You just need to add that, that much number of zeros. So you have to remember, okay, 128 is what? 128 means you can write it as 2 to the power 7. And then 32 is 2 to the power 5. 25 is 5 square. Then 50 is 5 into 10. I'm just taking out 10. Then 625 is 5 to the power 4 into 20, 49. 49 can be written as 7 into 7. So now you see what is 7 plus 5. It is 2 to the power 12. So you will write 2 to the power 12 into 5 to the power 2 into 5 to the power 4 into 5 to the power 5, 5 to the power 1. So you will add all the three exponential powers which will come as 5, 4 plus 2, 6 plus 1 is 7. Then you will have into 10 into 49. Okay. Again this will come out to be 49. So you can break this down into 2 to the power 7 into 5 to the power 7 into 10 into 49 into then you will have to 2 to the power 5 which is 32 so now this will just make it 10 to the power 7 which is now add to this one 10 so it will make 10 to the power 8 into 49 into 32 so basically you are just going to multiply now 49 into 32 only so 2 into 9 is 18 2 4 8 plus 1 9 then 3 into 9 is 27 then 3 into 4 is 12 plus 2 14 so you can just add it 8, so 9 plus 7 is 16, then 4 plus 1 is 5, so this is 1, 5, so you will have 1, 5, 6, 8, uh, then you can add 8 zeros to it or you can write 10 to 10 to the power 8. So if you had uh, multiplied like this, simply, uh, slowly, slowly, that will take much amount of time. So you just need to extract 5 and 2 from a number. Let us take one more example. Uh, suppose uh, somebody gives you, okay, uh, multiply 16 into 75 into 150 into 24. So how to do this quickly? So this can be written as 2 to the power 4. 75 can be written as 5 square into 3. I'm just doing the prime factorization. And then 15 can be written as 5 into 3 and then into 10. 10 I am writing it separately because I need 10. 24 can be written as 2 to the power uh, 3 into 3. So now 2 to the power 4 and this 2 to the power 3 will make it 2 to the power 7. Now 5 to the power 2, 5 to the power 1 that is 5 to the power 3. So we will have 5 to the power 3 and then 3 multiplied by 3 and again multiplied by 3. So you will have uh, 3 to the power 3. So now 
you can just take 2 to the power 3 out of this and you will be left with 2 to the power 3 into 3 to the power 3 into 2 because I have again a turn of this 2 to the power 7 into first I divided into 4 and 3 and then I divided 4 into 3 and 1 because I, I, I am using the law of exponent so 2 into 2 to the power 3 into 5 to the power 3 is basically 10 to the power 3 and 2 into 3 is 6 which is 6 cube into 2 so it is 6 cube is 216 216 into 2 is uh, you can just find it 432 into 10 cube so the answer is 432000 so this is a trick uh, that you can use it uh, this will just reduce your time frame uh, for solving a question or if you multiply first 16 by 75 and then you multiply this by this and just final answer by this and this this will take lot much amount of time so just break down the number into the simpler numbers their factors and the factors are smaller numbers you can just multiply them to find uh, some of the quick calculations can be done so then you can just find out where is where we can find 10 where we can take out 10 out of it so you should be quick in learning the exponential values as well so this was uh, from simplification now moving on to the last part which is very important part now finding p by q for a recurring decimals we all know uh, we all know that a decimal number uh, okay uh, first of all uh, a rational number what is a rational number uh, the definition of a rational number now what is a rational number the definition of a rational number is rational number are uh, can are those numbers the rational numbers Okay, now uh, before that, I would like to introduce you about the rational numbers. So, rational numbers, what are rational numbers? So, rational numbers are those numbers which can be, which can be written in the form of P by Q q not equal to 0 because division by 0 is not defined and p and q are integers this is a prerequisite the p and q are integers you cannot write okay i can write write 2 under root 2 as under root 2 by 1 no this is not possible because this is not an integer you cannot write like that so that was the definition of a rational number now rational numbers are of two types rational number of two types one is terminating decimal And the other one is rational number are of two types. One is terminating decimal, the other one is recurring decimal. Now it is very easy to find the uh, fraction part of the terminating decimal. If I ask you what is 2.5, you can say it is 25 by 10. If I ask you what is 1.27, you can write it as 127 by 100. As many decimals you move, as many zeros you put in the denominator. But what about the reg recurring decimals? If I ask you what is, how can 1.9 bar be written as in the form of fraction? So that is the question uh, that that uh, makes, that creates some problem to the some students uh, which are not having the clear concept of uh, how to find, find it uh, quickly. Okay. So th there is a method, there is a procedure. I will be discussing that. So now, uh, how do we find it? So the first thing is suppose somebody gives you 1.92 bar. Suppose somebody gives you uh, convert this 1.92 bar into fraction. So how we do this? First we will make it as x 1.92 bar and then we multiply this by 10 because we need the decimal should be kept immediately before the repeating part. So we will have 10x is equal to 19.2 bar. Then our aim is to just uh, take out this bar, the number with the bar. So since one digit is only repeating, so we will multiply this number by 10. So we will have 100x is equal to 192.2 bar. Then let this be the first equation, this be the second equation. So we will do 2 minus 1. Since we want this 2 bar should be cancelled out. So here we will have 100 minus 10 is 90x. And then we have 192 minus 19 because 2 bar 2 bar will get cancelled out. So 192 minus 19 if you do this, 12 minus 9 is 3 and 8 minus 1 is 7. So it is 173. 
So x will be equal to 173 by 90. Let us check it out. So 173 divided by 90. So it is 1.9222, that is 1.92 bar. Okay. So let us take one more example. If somebody asks you, okay, tell me what is uh, 23.756. 5.6, the bar is on 5.6. Now how do we calculate this? First we will assume this as x. Let x be 23.756 bar. Now since we have to move this decimal uh, just before, immediately before the repeating part. So we will multiply this number by 10. So we will have 10x is equal to 237.56 bar. Now since the two digits are repeating, we find that the two digits are repeating. So we multiply this number by 100. So we will have 1000x is equal to 237.56 bar. Again, this will be considered as the first equation. This is as the second equation. We will do 2 minus 1. Then we have 990 here. And then here we will have 23756 minus 237. So 23756 minus 237. So 16 minus 7 is 9. 4 minus 3 is 1. 7 minus 2 is 5. So this is 23519. So we will write x as 23519 divided by 990. So let us check it out. So 23519 divided by 990. So it is 23.75656. You can just see that this was the number 756. The bar is on 56. 56, 56, 56 is repeating. Okay. So now let us uh, understand some pattern. If I ask you, okay, you can do it in your calculator. What is 1 by 9? It is 0 0.1 bar. You will find that 2 by 9 is 0 0.2 bar. In fact, 9 by 9 is, you write it as 1, but I write it as 0 0.9 bar. But it is so close to 1 that the fraction part of, again, it is 1. Okay, now see the other pattern. If I ask you, okay, what is 12 by 99? You do in your calculator and you will find it is 0 0.12 bar. If I ask you what is 47 by 99, you will find it at 0 0.47 bar. If I ask you what is 98 by 99, you will find it as 0 0.98 bar. Okay, now coming to the three digits, the same pattern will goes as well. If I ask you what is 125 by 999, so it is 0 0.125 bar. If I ask you what is 373 by 999 so it is 0 0.373 bar okay if you want to check you can check as well uh, let us start with the last part 373 by 999 in fact 373 it is being repeating don't uh, take the last number because it is a calculator they are just rounding off now again i will be doing 125 divided by 9 125 divided by 999 so it is 0 0.125, 125, 125. Okay, uh, so now we will be checking some of the two digit number that is 47 divided by 99. We will find 474747. Again, you see if I ask you what is 2 by 9, you can see the pattern is the same. So now since you remember this pattern, you will see, you will just follow this thing. Okay, if 12 by 99 is 0 0.12 bar, and I ask you, what is 12 by 990? So it can be written as 12 by 99 into 10. So now this 12 by 99 is 0 0.12 bar. And if you divide this by 10, you will shift one digit to the right and it will become 0 0.012 bar the decimal will shift one digit to the left because of this time okay you can just check it out so 
12 divided by 99 is this and if you divide this by 10 you will have 0 0.012 decimal will shift one digit to the left and the number is this similarly you see if i ask you what is 86 divided by 99 so it will be 0 0.8686 bar and if you divide this by 100 then you have two more zeros here so that means the repeating part and the decimals has got some relations with the 0 and the 9. So now how to find? Now uh, we will, since we have seen those patterns, now how to find the rational part of a number recurring decimal quickly. So here is a trick. Suppose I have a number 23.756789. So, and bar is on 678 so since the bar is on 678 i know that this 3 bar is because of these 3 9 because when we are dividing the number by 999 the three numbers we are repeating when we are dividing the number by 99 two numbers we are repeating and when we are dividing the number by 9 one number was repeating and to and the decimal should have come here but it has moved on to the here so this has moved up to two places so we will add two more zeros here and now we have to write this number as it is 2375678 and the part which is not repeating the part which is not repeating we have to subtract it so 2375 so 8 minus 5 is 3 7 minus 7 is 0 6 minus 3 is 3 5 minus 2 is 3 and then we have 237 so the answer is 2373303 let us check it out. So let us check it out. So 2373303 divided by 999 and you see what is the answer 23.756786786. So again 23.756786786 it is being repeating. You can find out 6786767 it is repeating. Don't uh, this is being rounded off, so you should not think about this. Now, moving on to one more question, let us take a uh, 46 uh, 461.7532. Uh, so, these two numbers are repeating. Since these two numbers are repeating, we will divide it by 99. Since the decimal again has shifted two units to the left, so we will add two more zeros and then we have to find 461.7532. And we have to subtract the non repeating part, which is uh 75461 so 46175 so 12 minus 5 is 7 and then we have this 12 minus 7 is 5 then we have 4 minus 1 is 3 7 minus 6 is 1 11 minus 4 is 7 then we have 5 then we have 4 then this is 4571357 let's check it out so it is 45713 57 divided by 9900 and you check it out 461.7532332 see this 32 is repeating okay so this is a quick method of finding and please remember that this number is not in the simplest form you have to just find out the divisibility rule and 99 is always divisible by 3 so you have to check whether this number is divisible by 3 or not only 3 and 9 so if you do that you can just find it out okay this number can be divided further into the simplest form so it can be further divided into the simpler form like this so that is all from my side uh, so, okay thank you so much and uh, have a nice day uh, I, it was a, a very good uh, class from my side uh, I, I just felt so much happy just to upload it on the youtube because uh, most of the my students uh, will get benefited from this so this is of grade 9 uh, the real numbers uh, how to convert a recurring decimal into a fraction. Okay, Shabakir, goodbye, take care, thank you so much.